Kababayan. Welcome to Kababayan Today. Ako po si G. Tanji. Our guest for today, she's a regular on our show because of the sketch comedy group that we do here, Pantlip Fridays. She's done extensive work in the entertainment industry here in Hollywood and is currently in the weekly showcase of the Groundling Theater, the legendary Los Angeles improv company that launched the careers of such performers like, you know, that lady, Lisa Kudrow of Friends, and many, many others. Perhaps the first Pinay to get into this esteemed improv group. She's here to tell us about it, our dear friend, kaibigan natin, si Leslie Anhoff. Hi, Leslie Hi, Ann. kumusta po? Kumusta po? <laughs> Nux, Pinay na Pinay. Oh. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen you. Yes, we I'm miss so you. happy to be here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I, I have to say, first and foremost, you have been so busy, which is an amazing and good thing, but we miss Thank you, you on I PPP. know, I miss you guys. I know, and you know, people have been asking me, when is Tita Babes coming back? Oh, Tita Babes will be back in full force. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, okay, so <laughs> let's talk about this amazing opportunity for the Groundlings Theater. For the people that don't know Groundlings, ano mm -hmm. ba itong Groundlings na to? Okay, Groundlings Theater mm -hmm. is a theater in school on Melrose here in Hollywood. It's been around since the 70s. And um, every night, from Wednesday to Sunday night, we have shows going. If you don't know what improv is, improv is uh, when performers go up, they get a suggestion from the audience like, where are these people working? Or what's their relationship? Okay, it's mother and daughter, great. And then you just make it up. <laughs> and hopefully <Okay>. it's funny. <laughs> okay, but um, as a comedian, I mm -hmm. mean, as a woman, as a female doing this, uh, primarily comedy has been males in That's the true. industry, right? Mm -hmm. So as a Filipina and a woman, mm -hmm. how has that experience been for you? Well, as you can imagine, there are some trials and it's up and down, but um, I also think that that makes me unique mm -hmm. and that I have something very specific to bring to the table in terms of my comedic voice. Um, like you said, I am not aware of any other Filipinas um, being in the Sundays, uh, the Growling Sunday Company. So yeah. those are characters that I can play that no one else can play. And that's, that's a right. voice that I can represent that no one else, so far at least, has represented on that stage and it's really exciting because it is a very well-known theater I mean people come from all over the US tourists and everything that are here especially now that it's, that it's summer mm -hmm. we get a lot of them and we pack the house and people love it because we've we've had great alum from there Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy and so people know like there's fun stuff to watch okay so, but you know it's it looks, if you're the audience, at napapanood mo sila dito sa Groundling, mm -hmm. Groundlings Theater, mm. iniisip mo, oy, panay play lang to. They're just playing on stage. Uh -oh. But <laughs> there's so much work that goes into this. Mm. Can you describe to us sort of the auditioning process to get to where you are because I know it was a long and tedious process. Oh, so yeah. so um, Sunday Company, I'm in a show every Sunday. To mm -hmm. get to that point, I've been part of the theater and the school for about six years. So, wait, what? <laughs> six <laughs> six years. years. Because it's a, it's a program of various levels of improv training. So there's a few levels of that. And then okay. once you get through those levels, um, there's uh, training for writing, for sketch comedy, like you'd see on SNL. Okay, so what you see when you're performing it, you guys write that script. Mm -hmm. okay. So on improv nights, we're making it up, but sketch comedy nights, we've written that. Okay, mm -hmm. and how long does that take to sort of write that out and bounce it around everywhere? Well, it just depends, but right now in the level I'm at, uh, we write every week and we pitch our ideas on Wednesday night and by Sunday night, we've got a new show. Okay, so wow. <laughs> that, I, I mean, it looks to me that you're really, really busy with this, but mm -hmm. are you loving it? I mean, it's sort of a dream come true. Um, next week, I'm also going to get to uh, perform just in an improv show with the main stage Groundlings. So it's just, it's such a dream come true. I went to the show last night and they had um, somebody from my sassy gay friend on YouTube that's a huge sensation right now and he was a special guest. I mean, they have special guests come in. These are the people that I've I've been watching on that stage for six years, being like, oh, they're so cool, they're so funny, I, that's what I want to do, and now I get to play with them, and it's just such a great opportunity, and 
you know, been working for six years at it. So. I know. It's like it doesn't happen overnight, guys. Nee. Definitely not in Hollywood, mm -hmm. right? So nee. when we return, kausap pa rin natin si Leslie Ann Huff. We'll be right back.